Over the past few days, the snowflake social justice warrior movement, whose sole purpose for existence seems to be being offended by fucking everything, have alleged that the song The Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues is homophobic, which it clearly isn't, and also that the classic song Baby It's Cold Outside is somehow related to date rape. And it's a good job someone spotted that because that song's only been out for 74 years. But it got me thinking, is it possible to find any Christmas song offensive if you get into that snowflake mindset? So what I decided to do was put the radio on and the first Christmas song I heard, I would deconstruct in the manner of a social justice warrior. And I was in luck because on the news there was a sample of White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Now clearly that song's about someone hoping for snow at Christmas and feeling quite nostalgic. But if you then turn off all logic and reason, which is what is required to be a snowflake, you can quickly find a more sinister reason behind this song. Think about the lyrics. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. This is a man thinking about a time when there were just whites. Segregation, white supremacy. But it gets worse. Continue with the lyrics. When children listen. So the children have to be able to listen. So they're deliberately discounting the deaf. And then later, he says, with every Christmas card I write. So the songwriter's clearly stating that he can read and write. Whereas some blind people can't read and write in a conventional manner. It's another dig at the disabled. And then if you needed any more proof, the line, may your days be merry and bright because bright is a slang term for intelligent. And as we know, a lot of people who are mentally disabled will have subnormal IQs. So this is a song about a culture that promotes white supremacy and has got rid of all the disabled people. White Christmas, it should be called Aryan Christmas because clearly this is a song in favour of the Nazis! See how easy that was to do, to get straight up to full woke. Also, the song Frosty the Snowman, that's going to have to have its title changed now to, uh, what we call it? Frosty the gender non-binary hydrogen-based entity whom currently identifies as male.